Nearly a decade ago now, when I was still a college student in Nebraska, my girlfriend and I were cruising down Highway 20, not far from her hometown, when she pointed out the window towards a few rusty old corn cribs and said casually, that's where Reuben got shot. Reuben was the star chimpanzee of Antelope County, of course, and the tiny town we were passing through, a place called Royal, once hosted a popular roadside zoo. She also remembered something about Johnny Carson, she thought. Maybe. Right? It was all so vague, so annoying in its lack of context, that I had to learn more. I didn't know it at the time, but I would spend the next 10 years of my life reporting on that tiny village, trying my best to recreate the untold story of the biggest small town zoo in America. Who built it, and why, and how its bloody demise would affect the entire community. The result was my first book, Zoo Nebraska, The Dismantling of an American Dream. My name is Carson Vaughn, and I'm a freelance writer, author, and journalist from Broken Bone, Nebraska. I live in Chicago now, but my focus as a writer remains squarely on rural Nebraska where I was born and raised, and especially on the Great Plains, where so many stirring epics remain untold. My presentation as a South Dakota Humanities Council scholar, if chosen, would explore both the opportunities and the challenges that I've faced as a writer in so-called flyover country. For example, what happens when your main subject refuses to go on record, but their neighbors all have an opinion, or a two, or a three, or four? How long does one hold out? How does one fill the gap? How does a journalist interview a farmer in Nebraska or South Dakota about climate change, for example, when the words climate change themselves are so often a non-starter? How does one avoid the small town literary tropes? Or as author Kathleen Norris bluntly asks in her book, Dakota, A Spiritual Geography, can one tell the truth in a small town? What are the larger cultural forces at play that skews so many attempts? And speaking of Kathleen Norris, I'd love to conduct a book club to go discussion about that same book, Dakota. My perspective as a small town Nebraska native, and also as a journalist who continually mines America's rural places for story, can hopefully bring some context, some nuance, and maybe even a little insight into the discussion of Norris's probing work. That's it from my end. Thanks so much for your time, and stay safe out there.